what's up guys welcome to vlog number two um so today we're gonna be talking about how exclusive got started and how this idea came to mind of starting to detail starting to wrap cars do window tinting and doing clear bra so let's go inside the shop Mercedes CLA 250. Um, it's in here for uh, metallic gloss black car wrap. As you guys can tell, it's white. We like to fully disassemble each car so that to make sure we tuck in all the edges and make sure we don't have any white showing underneath the wrap. So that's one of the cleaner ways we do the wrap at exclusive and it separates us from the rest. Um, we also got this Jeep SRT Cherokee. This one's um this truck right here is actually from um, Ramon from Legal Siete. Um, he really liked the turnaround on Alex's car, so he sent us a message. He's like, yo, what can you do for our car? So we had a couple of dope colors in mind. Uh, he liked the color, and yeah, it's in here. It's fully disassembled, and we're doing work on it. So the color that we chose for his car is um, it's from a new company called Inostec. It's um, Midnight Gold. It's a really nice color. Um, it's, it's actually a, a shifting color. So in some angles, in the sun, it looks black. and other angles in the sun, it looks gold and brownish. So it's a really dope color, and it's definitely going to stand out. So stay tuned for this one. We'll probably have a separate blog just to focus on this, on, on this Jeep SRT Cherokee. But it's going to be dope. So make sure you guys um, subscribe, and stay tuned for another video where we just focus on this car. So today's video, we're going to start on how exclusive started, how this idea came to mind, how we went from mobile, and how we got into the shop. So let's go ahead and get started. So how exclusive got started, it got started in 2013. I'm not too sure the month, but I believe it was September or October of 2013. I didn't really keep track. It just got started. It was just an idea, and we just jumped on it, and we got started. I didn't hesitate or nothing. I had a lot of doubters. A lot of people that didn't believe they, they, they didn't believe in exclusive they didn't see the big picture but before we move on on to how i started exclusive auto let's take it back to the roots on how i started detailing and how i got into the car industry so it started back september of 2012 i believe i was on um, camping with one of my uncles his name is marcos ortega Mateo marcos shout out to him for introducing me to this industry but we went camping we were there with his, his family as well. And you know, we, we had a good vibe on the camping. It was the first time I went camping. And they they were pre pretty chill people. You know, the Ortega family, they, they treated me like I was family too, that, camp, that, that year that we went camping. So they were talking to me about me moving to Manteca, California, and getting into the car industry, doing body work, doing window tanning and stuff like that. I was a bit nervous because before that, before I got into this detailing industry and rap industry, I didn't know anything about cars. Like I was 18 and you would tell me like how much horsepower this car had or what kind of wheels. Um, this car has pro charger, or supercharger. I didn't know none of that. So I was like completely left out. So I was a bit nervous, you know, of trying to move to Manteca. So yeah, I, le I, I left that year from the camping in 2012. And later on that year, it was a couple months later, it was in December, I believe. I got into some issues. I couldn't get a job. So I, I hit up my Tio Marcos. I told him, hey, you know what? Can I move to Antica? I want to work at the body shop. Like, I don't care if it's free. I just want to learn a skill. So, you know, he, he, he opened his hands to me. Um, he let me stay over at his place. And I, I got a job there at Manteca Auto Body. I'll make sure Six Visuals leaves a link to Manteca Auto Body and Skyway Specialty, which is Manny. The brothers and they, they did a little collab. It's Mantica Auto Body and Skyway Specialty. So yeah, it was December. I started with them, um, working at the body shop. I was very excited. I didn't know anything about cars. So my uncle starts teaching me a little bit about uh, body work and stuff like that. I was a little bit clumsy. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't pick up the body work too quick. So within a couple weeks, he completely took, it, took me out of trying to do um, body work. And he's like, hey, let's start detailing. So we started detailing out of his shop. He even got an account. He was keeping me busy. I was doing detailing. And I loved it, man. I, I, would, I would get into these little interior details. I would get in there with like a little toothbrush. 
you know, carpet cleaning, waxing the cars, buffing it, polishing, the basics of, of car detailing. So that's how, that's how I got into the, um, the industry by detailing. Uh, fortunately, I didn't pick up the skill of body work too good, but A introduced me to this industry of detailing and that I love and that I put my passion into every day. Um, so that's the roots of how I got started. So um, shout out to Marcos again and Manny and all the team at Mantico Auto Body and his Skyway Specialty for um, introducing me to this industry. I love it, man. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Um, I love what I do. I come in to work every day doing what I love. So yeah, th th those are the roots of how I got started into the, to the detailing industry. So let's move forward now. Um, it's 2013. I spent about a whole nine months, nine to 10 months at Mantico Auto Body. Um, it's up north, it's uh, about five hours from Los Angeles. It's in between Stockton and Manteca, so it, it's, it's, it's far, you know? It, it really let me focus and uh, um, set my mind straight to become an entrepreneur and to start my own business. So I moved back to, to Los Angeles. I'm in Baldwin Park, and again, I fall into the same steps. I can't get a job um, because I have tattoos, and, and so what? So I couldn't get a job. Um, tried a couple agencies nothing was working out so i was just like you know what uh, i'm gonna do the same thing i was doing at Mantica. i'm gonna start detailing cars I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my truck i'm gonna put a tank in the back i'm gonna put a generator i'm gonna put a pressure washer and i'm gonna go out and wash cars so yeah we, we i came up with this idea we we got everything moving forward we started the exclusive auto detailing at that time right away everything was exciting so i got my business cars started we, we did everything. We opened up a Facebook, we opened up an Instagram, and we put ourselves, we put ourselves out there. I put myself out there. We started this um, detailing business with my cousin Jesse. Um, and yeah, we, we were super excited to start it. And you know, that was, that, that, was the, that was the best part, that we were super excited to start. We just didn't know about everything, like all the cons. People not supporting us, people not seeing the big picture, car washes was too expensive, so, Within like the first first week or second week, it was um, in 2013, it was in November, October, uh, we couldn't get any business. So what happened? I had to drop my prices down from $25 to $13. So if some, if some of you guys have been following me since then, you guys know we did about a full two years of charging $13 a car wash per car. And trucks was like about $18. I mean, it wasn't easy. A lot of hard work got put into this. Like we, we, we used to wake up at 6 a.m. and we didn't go home till 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 10 p.m. Um, we were working 12 hours, we were working 18 hours, um, just hustling, you know, um, just hustling and making this dream happen. Okay, so the, yeah, it, it, was, it was rough in the beginning. It, it, it was rough. There was a lot of long nights, a, a lot of nights where I felt overwhelmed because I was not making a lot of money. I think the first two years, it was me and my cousin at the, at the beginning. He helped me out for like about three months. And then after that, I came across my friend Izzy, who helped me out for like another year and a half to two years. And it, it was rough, you know, charging $13. Um, a lot of people will make fun of us, you know. They would be like, oh, he's just a car washer. I'm not gonna make any money. Um, that was for my friends, like, oh, I'm just a car washer. I didn't get any support from them. My family, you know, as well. Like, hey, you're, you're just a car washer. You're, you're never gonna do nothing with life. It's just, you're washing cars. I was just like, okay, you know. But deep down, I had a big, uh, you know, I, I had a, I had a different mindset. I had a bigger dream that they couldn't see, that they couldn't understand. So I kept moving forward with those long nights. Um, the only person that I basically got support from was um, my wife, my wife Raulisa. Um, she was the only one that was supporting me. Like, um, she was okay with me making 300 bucks a, a, a week, or sometimes even less. Like. Two hundred dollars, like a week. Um, keep in mind, we already had a we already had a kid at, at this time, so two hundred dollars was not a lot, especially with the kid and especially without my wife working. So I definitely got a lot of support and love from my wife. I, I thank her for that because it really helped me grow the business. She wasn't really like asking me for expensive gifts or anything. So um, it, it it really helped us um, to be humble, to appreciate everything. Um, because we were just living um, basically paycheck to paycheck, um, $200 a week. And it wasn't even paycheck to paycheck because it was less than the minimum wage what I was making. But I, I, I didn't give up. I still had that big, um, 
that that big um dream of one day it was going to expand and everything was going to be cool but i did have a lot of doubters i did have a lot of haters and yeah so um moving forward moving forward um it was 2015 after making a little bit of income i was like yo i'm tired of this i need to make more money so i was like yo i'm gonna start charging a hundred dollars for car washes <laughs> i'm laughing at it now in this video as i'm saying it because it, you know a hundred dollars for a car wash you know everybody laughs like that's ridiculous who's gonna pay for that but i i got the right mentorships um i started reading books I started going on YouTube and luckily I took advantage of these videos and this knowledge where I learned how to brand myself. So it was in 2015 where I, I branded myself and I started reaching out to exotic car owners. And I started I started charging $100. I, I didn't believe it in the beginning, but it was like, I still kept that law of attraction there, that, that vision. I was like, someone has to pay $100. Um, as soon as you know it, I. You know, I take this course with chemical guys. I learn more knowledge. I learn more about sales, and I'm charging a hundred dollars for car wash. You just gotta keep that vision. After I started charging a hundred dollars, things were good. I was getting a lot. I was getting a lot of customers. I was blowing up on Instagram, and I remember that it was at the time where the, the foam gun was out, and I was one of the first ones that was doing the the foam washes. I would literally get people that would stop me while I was in the detail. We were foaming up these cars exotic cars, luxury cars, where we're just foaming the hell out of the, out of these cars and people would just like sometimes break their necks. Sometimes, I even caught a couple people sometimes like almost crashing just to stop and get a business card from us because we were doing these foam car washes. So that got us a lot of publicity on Instagram and it really blew up our, our business and it scaled a lot. From there, we didn't stop the, we didn't stop our dream. I was making good money at the time already in 2016, charging a hundred dollars a car wash. We we're doing a thousand dollar details, two thousand dollar details, and it was good. But I, I always wanted a little bit more. I didn't stop there. We already accomplished one goal. Let's move on to the next one. So we started doing um, paint protection films. I took a class. We started doing paint protection films, um, where we do clear bars to protect the paint from getting rock chips. You know, to preserve the, the the vehicle's paint, something a little bit more worth the value for a client instead of just getting a simple car wash. So yeah, we took a course, we started doing the paint protection film, and within months, we were already getting business for clear bra. The downside about that was that we couldn't really do clear bra when we were mobile, so we definitely had to move into a shop. So that's when more problems came in. Okay, what do we do? Where do we start? I went on LoopNet, I remember. We searched for like about like six months for a location, and every single place was just denying us like oh you can't do car washes here you guys need this big system for the you know for the for your shop so you can recycle the water finally came to, across this place here in san dimas they told me yeah it's cool you do car washes at that time i was mobile so there was only a certain amount of money that we could make being mobile so i didn't have too much money saved up in the bank i think i believe i only had like about like twenty thousand around there I remember when we got the shop, I was like, I was nervous. I was like, are people going to come to me? There was even a, some doubt myself. Is this going to work? Are people going to come to me? Are people going to like the services? And I was just like, man, I, 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 need, I, need, to, I need to make this happen. I, I kept believing on the law of attraction and how it works. So we decided to move forward and I decided to go all in. I remember the first week we got into the shop, I literally put every single cent that I had in my bank account into this business where my bank account was literally, literally, I'm not gonna lie, I think I was like at negative 300 in my bank account. And we had a shop now, it was the first week and we needed to move forward, you know, we, need, we needed to get some business in here. So I was at the bottom again. I was at the bottom again where we have a shop, we have this big, huge overhead, we got payments to make, we got a shop payment now. So we, we definitely took on a big challenge starting up the shop. So we had to move upstairs right now. Yeah. We got interrupted because we had some cars that we needed to move out of the shop and bring some other cars in. So we're upstairs in our office. So back to where we left off. Um, I, I got the shop, you know, I put every single cent back into the shop. So we, I completely got rid of everything. I went all in. I went, I went all in into my business. 
you know, hoping that it was going to succeed just with that big dream. So the law of attraction helped me out a lot on staying motivated, staying motivated and making sure it was going to, it was going to come through. Within the first two months, I think I made over anything I ever made when I was global. I made over like 40 grand and I was like, shoot, like, damn, like all this hard work that when I was doing all the mobile detailing, all the doubters, all all the people doubting on the business, like it finally paid off. All the hard work, all the early mornings, all the late nights, finally paid off. I, I made more in two months than I, I've ever made, than I ever made. So I was like, you know what? We, we, we did it, you know? We did it. I'm here at Exclusive Automotive, um, and we're doing detailing, and we're doing clear bras. And, you know, we're making really good money. We're making decent money. And, yeah, you know, this is just like, you know, for some of the people that are watching, um, all you gotta do is just get started. Be willing to go all in, and you guys will have success in your business. Don't ever let anybody tell you guys that you guys can't do it. Keep grinding, keep moving forward, and one day it's all gonna pay off. Just like always, you know, we started off as a detailing company, and Clearbra, Clearbra company, so at that time we were named Exclusive Auto Detailing, which in the first couple of months of doing the business, we, we completely blew, you know? Um, everybody wanted a service by exclusive auto detailing. So I was like, you know what? I need to add more services. I need more incomes. Like always, you know, you can't settle for that. So always gotta keep moving forward and wanting more. So we decided to rebrand ourselves from exclusive auto detailing to exclusive automotive. And the reason why is because we wanted to, we wanted to get into the, the rap industry, you know? Start doing color changes, um, start doing a, a bit of customizations and something that brings a little bit more value to the clients than just, you know, detailing. We still offer detailing, we still offer clear bras, but, you know, we had, to, we had to grow out. We had to grow out and we had to do multiple services. So now, exclusive automotive, um, you can get anywhere between power coated wheels, um, chrome deletes, you could get car wraps, you could get clear bras, you could get auto detailing. Um, we're soon looking into expanding and opening up a body shop. So. Um, that's in the works right now. Um, we just gotta keep grinding. We gotta keep moving forward and and make sure that you know we 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 um, stay motivated. We stay motivated. We have a lot of energy. Um, just wanna give a thanks to all the other supporters, everybody that's subscribing to my YouTube, and all the all the other people that follow us on Instagram. A lot of people send me messages. A lot of people detailers look up to me as well. And that's the reason why we're doing this um, YouTube video of how we started exclusive automotive. Cause a lot of people don't know what it's like to start the business, you know. They just see the they just see the success, but they don't see how, how it really went down, you know. That a lot of people don't know this this day that I used to charge thirteen dollars, but some of the people that have been following me for a while, they've seen that growth where I went from charging thirteen dollars, then I went to charging a hundred dollars, and then I went into into a shop where I'm doing clear bras, and then from the shop for doing clear bras, you know, we're doing wraps, so. Some of you guys been with me since then, that you guys seen the growth. Others haven't, they just seen me, you know, just blow up. Like, yo, this guy's doing it, but they didn't see, they didn't see the, they didn't see the sacrifices that went, that went down the road that I went through, through this journey. So yeah, I want to give thanks to everybody who's been supporting my business. And hopefully you guys like my YouTube channel now, and we're going to be creating pretty dope content. So if, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys leave a like, and leave a comment and let us know what kind of videos you guys want to see next you know um, this is just how i started broke it down on how i started but if you guys want more videos on tips how to get started you know just tips on how to get started in general and how to build that growth let us know leave a comment and we'll be happy to make some more videos for you guys thank you guys for watching and make sure you guys subscribe